everyone. I am Unukona Bhor. I have completed my master's in economics from University of Calcutta and I am presently a student of IVY Professional School. As a part of my final project submission using Structured Query Language or SQL, I have done an analysis of e-commerce website. The case study consisted of one table of e-commerce website for five months from October 2020 to February 2021. The table consisted of details of users using the website. The abbreviations used are shown on the screen. The problem statement was that despite the huge usage of e-commerce website, a section of the society still prefers offline stores. So the objective was to analyze the usage of e-commerce website and provide suggestions for improving the business. The data for the analysis was taken from Kaggle.com, the website of which is shown on the screen. The data in Excel suggested that it had almost 8,57,000 records or rows and 9 fields or columns, namely event time, which was the time of occurrence of the event, event type, which was categorized under the three heads of adding to cart, purchasing and viewing, product ID, which was the ID of the product, category ID, which was the ID of the category to which the product belonged, category code, which was the code of the category to which the product belonged, brand, which was the brand of the product, price, which was the price of the product, user ID, which was the ID of the user performing the event, user session, which was the session in which the event was being performed. Now coming to the tool which was used for analysis. SQL or structured query language was used for analysis. It is the language which the databases understand. It is a querying language to send instructions to the databases. Database is a collection of tables. Advantage of SQL over other languages is that it is like English. Even a layman can understand the codes in SQL. For my analysis, I have used MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench. I have created the database e-commerce and I have used that database for the purpose of my analysis. Now coming to the analysis. Data has been analyzed by listing various factors affecting business. All event times in the analysis are given in UTC or Universal Time Coordinated. These are the factors affecting business. The first factor is month of sales. It was seen that January 2021 witnessed the highest sales followed by February and October 2020 was the month which had the lowest sales. This result has been obtained from MySQL query and the query which is highlighted gives us the sales by each month and in the result window we get the result that January 2021 was the month with highest sales and October 2020 was the month with lowest sales. Moving forward to the next factor, top time of visit. It was seen that the peak time of viewing and adding to cart was 11 am UTC and that of purchasing was 10 am UTC which is also shown by the bar diagrams. This result was also obtained from MySQL query and the highlighted code gives us the peak time of viewing and adding to cart which appears to be 11 am UTC followed by the other hours. And the similar query for the event type purchase gives us the peak time of purchasing 
that is 10 am UTC followed by the other hours. Moving on to the next factor, top brands by sale. It was seen that MSI was the brand which was sold most number of times and it was followed by other brands like Gigabyte, Asus, Palit, Canon. This result was also obtained from MySQL query and here I wanted only 6 brands therefore I restricted the query to provide me only 6 records by the query limit 6 and the selected code basically gives us the brand which was sold the most followed by other brands and here we can see in the result window that MSI was the brand which was sold the most number of times. Moving on to the next factor, demand for items. It was seen that video cards in computer components were the category which was sold the most number of times and it was followed by electronic items. This result was also obtained from MySQL query. The highlighted code will be giving us the category which was sold the most number of times and also the number of times it was sold. And here we can see that video cards in computer components top the list. Moving on to the next factor, frequency of purchase. It was seen that almost 13,000 people have purchased only once in the given time span of 5 months but what was surprising was one user with the user ID highlighted in grey who had purchased 56 times in the given time span of 5 months. This result has also been obtained from MySQL query and the highlighted code gives us the frequency of purchase that is the number of times a particular user ID had purchased the items and here we can see that the user ID highlighted had purchased the most number of times that is 56 times in the given time span. And the query which is highlighted now gives the number of users purchasing at each time that is the number of users purchasing once, twice, thrice and here we can see that almost 13,000 users have purchased only once in the given time span. Next, we come to the last factor which is the actual number of times that the items have been purchased. It was seen that despite viewing the items numerous times, only very less times they have actually been purchased and it made the purchasing rate less than 5%. This result has also been obtained from MySQL query. The query which is highlighted basically gives the number of times that the items have actually been purchased after the users have viewed the items that is it gives the actual number of times purchased and here in the result window we will be getting the result that it is around 35,000 times and the query now highlighted gives the number of times that the items have been viewed that is by counting the event type view and we see that it is over 7 lakh times. All these findings are shown on the slide and on the basis of these findings some conclusions have been made so that the business can run more successfully. The first conclusion is that special discounts should be given during the months of frequent purchases so that the users can purchase more number of times. Time based offers and advertisements should be given at the peak time of visiting that is of viewing and purchasing so that the people become well aware of the offers and the new products. More products of top selling brands should be introduced because those are the brands which are preferred most. 
more availability of top selling products should be ensured so that they do not go out of stock user specific discounts for the users purchasing very less number of times like one time should be given so that they are tempted to purchase again these are the references for my analysis now coming to the way of importing data since the data set used was very large therefore i used the command line interface to import the data but before that i had to create the table with the exact data types and the code for creating the table is highlighted and then i had to import the data using command prompt and for this i had to enter into the mysql server directory and then import the data another way of importing the data is from within mysql workbench that is the table data import wizard but this is suitable only when the data set is small and therefore it could not be used for my analysis now coming to the difficulties faced during analysis the event time column had utc which was text and therefore i could not import this column as date or time column i had to import this column as a text column and then i had to segregate that column into two columns one with the date data type consisting of only the date of the event and the other with time data type consisting of only the time of the event these were the problems faced with this i come to the end of my presentation thank you